In this tutorial video, I'm going to quickly show you how to work with multiple audio tracks in iMovie. So to get started, what I'm going to do is just start adding a bunch of different audio tracks into iMovie. Now you can see here that I've already added a video clip into my project timeline. Now one way to work with audio tracks in iMovie is by clicking on your video clip, right clicking, and selecting Detach Audio. And just like that, you'll see that we already have one audio track here, and it's this purple bar underneath my video clip. And that's the audio for my actual video clip. Now I'm going to come over here to my Music tab, and I'm just going to come over here and just start adding a couple songs to my project timeline. Now there's two ways I can add these audio tracks to my project timeline. I can add them as a background audio track, which is where I let go in this open space here, or I can drop it on top of the video clip and when I release that, you'll actually see it appear underneath the video clip here in green. And so I'll just drop one more on there. And then I'll also add a background audio track. So just like that, I have multiple audio tracks in my project timeline. So the rest is actually pretty simple. You can kind of just do whatever you want with these audio tracks so that they work for you. So for example, so for example, if I want to move one of these audio tracks below the video clip, all I need to do is click on it and drag it wherever I want it to be in my movie. If I want to extend it or change the length of it, all I need to do is click on the edge of it and drag it until I have it at the length that I want it at. So if I wanted to do that to all three of them, I can just drag it all the way to the left and then extend the end of it all the way to the right. Now let's say, for example, that I want each of these audio tracks to start at different times in my movie. All I would need to do is change the length of it and drag it where I want it to start in my movie. And so by changing the length of it, I can actually position it so that each of them start exactly where I want them to. And as you can see, as you start doing that, it actually automatically just kind of lowers one if it overlaps with another audio track in your project timeline. Now by just sliding it so that it doesn't overlap, it'll just pop right back up on that same level underneath the video clip. But if you do want it to overlap, it will just automatically put it below that other audio track. Now something a lot of people don't understand is when they add background audio tracks to their video clip, what you'll notice is that with a background audio track, you can't change the length of it here in your project timeline. And if you add another background audio track, what you'll also notice is that you can't see it. It's almost as if it wasn't added. And the reason for that is because when you add a background audio track, it will automatically make it the length of your video. So however long your video clips are inside your project timeline, that's how long that background audio track is going to be. So the only way that you can see two different background audio tracks is by trimming those background audio tracks. So to do that, all you need to do is click on the audio track, come over here to this gear wheel, and hit Clip Trimmer. And what that will do is it'll open it up in this tab up here, and then you can trim that background audio track so that it's the length that you want it to be. So if I come down here and click on this yellow bar here and start dragging it up to the top, what you'll actually start to notice is that down in my project timeline, you'll see this red bar that's going across my video clip. What that's letting me know is that I'm now trimming this background audio track so that it's going to end where that red playhead is in my project timeline. So if I wanted this to just kind of go halfway through, I could just kind of stop it halfway through, and then all I need to do is come up here and hit Done. And now what you'll notice is that you can now see the second background audio track that's been added to your project timeline because you've changed the length of the first one, which allows you to now see the second background audio track because it will fill the rest of that empty space in your project timeline. Now, if you don't want more than one background audio track, you can just click on one of them and you can hit delete. And now what you can see is that this background audio track ends halfway through the video clip. And then if we wanted these other audio tracks to kind of start 
we can just drag them over, change the length of them, and work with them however we want them to be in our project timeline. So inside iMovie, you actually have a lot of freedom with how you work with multiple audio tracks, and it's actually pretty simple. And if you want to delete even any of these audio tracks, all you need to do is click on them and hit delete. Now if you want to do some audio mixing and change up the volume a little bit in your audio track so that they're not all just kind of jumbled together, you can do that as well. By double clicking on any of your audio tracks, you can open it up in the inspector tab and by clicking on this audio tab, you can actually change the volume to what you want it to be. And you also have the option of fading it in and fading it out as well. And then all I need to do is hit done. And just like that, we're able to work with multiple audio tracks inside our iMovie project timeline. And that's a quick tutorial on how to work with multiple audio tracks in iMovie.